This is the Strategic Systems Alliance Recall 3-Dimensional Facial Recognition Application. Installation. The system requires the Intel RealSense uh, software development kit to be installed and the compatible camera to be connected via the computer's USB port. Once this is done, simply double click on the facial recognition application supplied and the application will launch. A real-time uh, preview of the camera will be displayed along with the buttons at the bottom allowing for recognition and enrollment to occur. Enrollment is the process of adding an unknown face to the database to allow for future recognition. The face is presented, a red rectangle is displayed around the face and tracks the face in real time regardless of angle and rotation. By clicking on the red rectangle, the user is then provided with the ability to enroll a new face into the database. A reference image of the face is taken, along with the ability to add the user's name and any other pertinent details required to later recognize and identify that particular person. This version of the facial recognition system has been specifically modified for the Intel RealSense camera, but is based on our existing two-dimensional uh, recall facial recognition system currently used by law enforcement agencies across the world. Here we're enrolling the second face and we follow exactly the same procedure. Rectangle is red, click on the rectangle, commence the enrollment process. The underlying facial recognition system has been compared against the NIST Ferret facial uh, database and has achieved an over 99.91% uh, positive identification rate. The same underlying engine is running here. The next step is recognition. Recognition is the process of detecting a face in the image, comparing it against the database and producing an identification. As you would have just seen, the face starts off red. As soon as the identification is made, the rectangle around the face is turned to blue and the name of the identified person is displayed above that rectangle. To the right shows the captured face versus the reference face and the level of accuracy that the system has in recommending that that is a match. The face is recognized and the rectangle is followed regardless of the face's angle and orientation as it moves to the various planes. This is an example of the second enrolled face now being detected. The Intel RealSense camera provides greater tolerance of changes in orientation of the face beyond a two, traditional two-dimensional system. The next step is to introduce an unknown subject. An unknown subject is someone who has not yet been enrolled into the database. As you can see, the rectangle is red, indicating that we do not know who this individual is. This ensures that we're not providing a false positive in attempting to identify someone as someone they are not. Now to do an end-to-end -end test of the system, we provide simultaneous recognition. In this case, <coughs> Three faces are presented to the camera simultaneously, two of which are previously enrolled subjects, and the middle one is the unknown subject. As you can see, despite the fact that their faces move and change in orientation, the two known subjects have been correctly identified, and the unknown subject in the middle remains as unknown. This completes the demonstration of the Intel RealSense version of the Strategic Systems Alliance Recall Facial Recognition System. As you can see, it uh, provides greater invariance to uh, facial orientation than a traditional two-dimensional system. Thank you.